So what telescope should I buy? As a beginner, that's a question that all of us ask. Big telescope or little telescope? I'll show you a couple of mine and tell you how I use them. So to answer the question, which telescope should I buy? My answer is, it depends what you want to look at or what you want to do with your telescope. From my experience, my little 80 millimeter refractor telescope is great for looking at the moon, terrestrial viewing, bird watching. It turns out that this telescope is excellent for deep sky astrophotography, like galaxies, nebula, star clusters, etc. But it's not a good telescope to observe the planets. Now my nine and a quarter inch Schmidt Cassegrain telescope is a great telescope for looking at the planets and photographing them. I can also get high magnification of the moon with this telescope. However, my images of deep sky objects with this big telescope are not as good as they are with my little 80 millimeter refractor telescope. So why is that? It has to do with two important concepts, focal length and focal ratio. And once you understand these two things, it'll help you choose the right telescope for what you want to do. Let's start with focal length. The focal length is the distance measured in millimeters in an optical system from the lens or primary mirror to the point where the telescope is in focus, and they call this the focal point. Now here's the important part. The longer the focal length of the telescope, generally the more power it has. The larger the image, and the smaller the field of view. For example, a telescope with a focal length of 2,000 mil millimeters has twice the power and half the field of view of a 1,000 millimeter telescope. So, if you're interested in looking at the planets, then you want a telescope with a long focal length. The planets are really small, and that big telescope with a long focal length will allow you to get more power, magnification, with a given eyepiece. Also, the bigger the aperture, the more magnification you can get. So my big nine and a quarter inch SCT or a Newtonian or a big Dobsonian with a long focal length are all good choices for planetary viewing. Now here's an example of what I'm talking about. This is the image that I took of Jupiter with the nine and a quarter inch uh, SCT telescope which has a focal length of 2350 millimeters. Now this image is also of Jupiter and you can see three moons. I overexposed it so I could see the three moons. But anyway, this uh, picture was taken with my 80 millimeter refractor telescope. Now this telescope has a focal length of only 480 millimeters as compared with the 2350 of the SCT. So you can really see the difference in the uh, magnification that you can get with the longer focal length. Now, if you're looking for a close-up of the moon, then that long focal length gives you a shot like this. But this is with the 80 millimeter uh, telescope, and uh, if you're looking for wide field view and a real clear and sharp image, then you can't really beat that little uh, refractor telescope. Here's Saturn with the uh, long focal length SCT. And then this next image is with a little 80 millimeter refractor telescope. So you definitely want the big telescope if you're going to do planetary work. Here's Mars with the SCT. It would look just like a little orange dot through the 80 millimeter telescope. Now if you want to image the um, International Space Station, you need something that's going to magnify that little dot going across the sky. And this is an image that I got of uh, the space station through my schmidt cassegrain telescope. So a telescope with a long focal length and a narrow field of view is good for looking at really small objects in the sky. Now for wide field viewing and imaging galaxies and nebula, you want a telescope with a, a short focal length and a wide field of view. And this is where number two, the focal ratio, comes into play and is really important. Now if this is your telescope, you find the focal ratio by taking the focal length in millimeters and dividing it by the size of the primary lens or mirror. 
So let's find the focal ratio for my SCT telescope. Now that has a 2350 millimeter focal length. And the size of the aperture is 9.25 inches, 9 and a quarter inches, or 234 millimeters. So if you divide 2350 by 234, you get 10. And so they say the focal ratio is f10. So now let's find the focal ratio of the little telescope, the little refractor. The focal length is 480 millimeters. The aperture size is 3.14 inches or 79 millimeters. So if you divide 480 by 79, you get 6. So the focal ratio is f6. The focal ratio is important for photography because it determines how quickly a picture can be taken. For this reason, the smaller focal ratios are called faster, and the larger focal ratios are, are termed slower. So what this means is with this little telescope, I can take much shorter uh, time exposures than I would have to in the big uh, SCT telescope. This is my telescope of choice for deep sky imaging. It's relatively fast at f6 and it has a wide field of view. And that gives you an image like this. This was, was taken with that 80 millimeter refractor telescope. You cannot get this wide field of view with a long focal length telescope. So I have to tell you for what I do, I prefer using my little 80 millimeter refractor telescope with this wide field of view so I can get the whole galaxy, the whole um, Andromeda galaxy in, in the image. You could not get a shot like this with the big telescope. And the nice thing about the little 80 millimeter refractor, you can pick it up and take it anywhere. So again, if you're looking for high magnification and a narrow field of view, get yourself a telescope that has a long focal length. Now, I enjoy wide field deep sky imaging, and for that I use the little 80 millimeter telescope with that short focal length, which gives me these wide views. So back to our original question, which telescope do I buy? It just depends on uh, what you want to look at and what you want to do with it. But I can tell you, before you're done, you're going to own several telescopes. <laughs> And bigger is not always better. In any case, buy yourself a telescope and get out there underneath that beautiful night sky. Thanks for watching, everybody.